Letter six of Evelina. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Christine. Evelina by Fanny Burney. Letter six. From Lady Howard to the Reverend Mr. Willers. Howard Grove. Dear Reverend Sir, The solemn manner in which you have committed your child to my care has in some measure damped the pleasure which I receive from the trust, as it makes me fear that you suffer from your compliance, in which case I shall very sincerely blame myself from the earnestness with which I have requested this favour. But remember, my good sir, she is within a few days' summons, and be assured I will not detain her a moment longer than you wish. You desire my opinion of her. She is a little angel. I cannot wonder that you sought to monopolize her. Neither ought you at finding it impossible. Her face and person answer my most refined ideas of complete beauty, and this, though a subject of praise less important to you, or to me than any other, is yet so striking, it is not possible to pass it unnoticed. Had I not known from whom she received her education, I should at first sight of so perfect a face have been in pain for her understanding since it has been long and justly remarked that folly has ever sought alliance with beauty. She has the same gentleness in her manners, the same natural graces in her motions, that I formerly so much admired in her mother. Her character seems truly ingenious and simple, and at the same time that nature has blessed her with an excellent understanding and great quickness of parts, she has a certain air of inexperience and innocency that is extremely interesting. You have not reason to regret the retirement in which she has lived, since that politeness which is acquired by an acquaintance with high life is in her so well supplied by a natural desire of obliging, joined to a deportment infinitely engaging. I observe with great satisfaction a growing affection between this amiable girl and my granddaughter, whose heart is as free from selfishness or conceit as that of her young friend is from all guile. Their regard may be mutually useful, since much is to be expected from emulation where nothing is to be feared from envy. I would have them love each other as sisters, and reciprocally supply the place of that tender and happy relationship to which neither of them has a natural claim. Be satisfied, my good sir, that your child shall meet with the same attention as our own. We all join in most healthy wishes for your health and happiness, and in returning our sincere thanks for the favor you have conferred on us. I am, dear sir, your most faithful servant, M. Howard. End of the letter 6